Hi, this is Ushio and welcome to Butterfly Soup. And I think this is going to be a real fun one. This is the creator who made a game called Pom Gets Wi-Fi, which was hugely popular and a really funny game. This just came out within the last day. So I'm going to try and be a little bit relevant by doing something that's new and just came out. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of references here. I'll try and get a few of them. We will see. Let's make a start. New game. Cool, dear. The summer between third and fourth grade. Once upon a time, there lived a princess called Mincio. She liked weapons. Everyone was terrified of her. She'd threaten you with knives and steal and break your things. She always got sent to the principal's office because she was bad. Still, she was a lovely princess, and tragically, she was cursed to prick her finger on a spindle and die. Sure enough, one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. And she fell into a deep, death-like slumber. Or at least she was supposed to. Instead, the princess just sat up abruptly and said, This is the worst story in history. I'm escaping. Wait. Mint, that's not how it goes. I'm right here. The evil dragon. I killed you already. What? With what? A gun. You don't have a gun. I made one out of rocks. <laughs> The hero has arrived. As Mincio's twin, he's trying to reason with her. Uh, Min, that's impossible. Who cares? I have a gun. I win. <laughs> it's difficult to argue against Min's brand of logic. Okay, you win. Let's just start over. This time, someone else gets to be the princess, not me. I'm the only girl left, so I guess that's me then. Fine, Dia does seem more like a princess type anyway. What's that supposed to mean? You're really pretty. And it's cute how your hair curls like that. It makes you look like a princess. Okay, I just meant that she's less violent. But whatever. Second try. Alright, let's go again. Once upon a time. There lived a girl named Dia. She was really quiet. It wasn't that she had nothing to say. It was more like she was afraid if she opened her mouth, something would come out that shouldn't. She once held on to an apple core for 45 minutes because she didn't want people to see her walk across the classroom to the trash can. It was that kind of quiet. She was also insanely athletic. There were rumours that under her shirt she had a six pack. Tragically, despite how buff she was, the princess was also cursed to touch a spindle and die. And one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. <laughs> and she fell into a deep death-like slumber. Nothing could break the spill but her true love's kiss. For many years she- Dear, get up. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Only the hero can wake her though. That's me. I'm the hero. Wait, what? No, it's supposed to be Junsio. No, it's me. Okay, but if you're the hero, then what am I? Uh, you're a gun. What? <laughs> Ming grabs Jun's arms and aims it at the dragon. Bang, you're dead, mate. Yeah, nice try, but I deflected the bullet with my own bullet. I've got a gun too. Why? You're a dragon. I like... Oh, look, the camera moves. Oh, that's sweet. I like how his name's changed to Gun. Anyway, this is America. Everyone's got a gun. <laughs> Dia rises to her feet. I've also got a gun. Hell yeah. Shoot the dragon, shoot Min, shoot, shoot the deflected bullet. Pew pew pew! That's it. Deflect the bullet with my own bullet. So Min's original bullet is going straight toward him again. That's unnecessarily complicated. Why didn't you just shoot him directly? This is way cooler. Yeah. Nice try, but too bad. The bullet bounces off me. How is that possible? My dragon scales are stronger than tank armor. Take that. Maybe we can resolve this without fighting then? Let's talk it over. Violence solves everything. I'm making a new gun with rocks. Okay, are you replacing me? Yep, sorry. Bang, dragon's dead. Okay, did you forget I'm bulletproof? But my gun didn't shoot a bullet. My gun shot a smaller gun, which shot a knife. Which exploded. <laughs> what was the point of the smaller gun in the middle? It's there to shoot the knife. No, but why couldn't the original gun shoot a knife? Ming gives Jun an incredulous look. Because it was shooting at the smaller gun? Never mind. Okay, so let's say my elbow is injured now, so if you touch that, I lose. What? 
Min lunges at him, don't attack the dude. He sidesteps and darts up the steps to the slide. When Min catches up, he spins so his back's to the wall. She looks like she's having trouble. Do you need help? What? No. The evil dragon faints to the right. Min falls for it as he rushes past her, back the way he came. Min trips, face plants on the bridge. <laughs> Before Min can see, Dia quickly picks the evil dragon up and hells him off the playground structure like a sack of potatoes. What? Wait, you're the princess, you can't just do that. Dia throws him off the playground structure too, why not? <laughs> As he disappears over the edge, Min pulls herself back to her feet. Okay, where is everyone? Uh, they, uh, the balcony collapsed. Castle's under construction, you know. Yeah. Nice. I rescued you. My hero. Yeah, I'm your hero. Min is struggling to carry Princess Dia down the slide with her. Dia could destroy her in a single punch if she wanted to, but she's patiently going along with it. I owe you my life. How can I repay you? You can, uh, repay me with a, a kiss. Oh, face plant. <laughs> My name is Dia. I don't really know what else to say about myself. I'm pretty boring. The other girl is Mincio. Everyone calls her Min. She's cool. Do you see that thing on her arm? She drew a giant dagger on it with a sharpie, like a tattoo. And in class, she makes ninja stars out of binder paper and throws them at people. She stamps them with staples so they hurt more. Wow. But she never throws them at me. I think it's mainly because I'm the only other girl she knows who likes baseball. We both used to think we were the only one in the world, so we were both really excited to meet each other. I really like her. Watching the pros play baseball always makes me so jealous. It must be so fun, being on a real team like that. The catcher has gone up to the mound for a conference with his pitcher. For secrecy's sake, they're talking with their gloves over their mouths. Someday, that's going to be us. What? Wait, what? How? Your parents wouldn't even let you join my team because you're a girl. Besides, when I grow up, I'll be a doctor or an engineer. How come? My parents said so. So what? My parents said to pass my maths test and I failed. That's not something to be proud of. I don't know how you'd do it. I wouldn't be able to handle disappointing my parents like that. It's like my worst fear. If your worst fear is disappointing your parents, that means your parents fucked up. <laughs> you should be able to do what you want without worrying about what they think. I don't know. It seems kind of selfish. It's not selfish to choose your own destiny. Right now, we're at the Oakland Coliseum with Min's dad and Jun. I guess I should explain where Oakland is to people who don't live in California. Yeah, I don't live in California. Do you know where San Francisco is? Mmm, sure. Well, we're not there. We're like 30 minutes away from there. Hey, dear. I have something I need to tell you. Something important. I, uh... Never mind. Forget it. Okay. I said forget it. Don't worry about it. Okay, aren't you having fun right now? Are you hungry or anything? Why are you changing the subject? If you're trying to distract me, it's not working. Let's get popcorn and share. Sure, popcorn's great. I like popcorn. Min's so nice to me. Just tell me when you're ready to go. The popcorn guy is a few rows behind us. Use the mouse to interact. Okay. Okay, let's look at the game. Look at the diamond. I think Min's going for the loudest sound in history world record. What do you mean, safe? You need to get some goddamn laser eye surgery. I hope the person you like likes someone else. <laughs> Give me a what? <laughs> I've choked on my own spit. Quality. She looks completely mortified. So Dia turns back to the diamond and pretends she didn't see anything. What's that? Look at a woman. She's cradling something in her arms. Is it a dog? Dia quickly jogs over, takes a look. To a severe disappointment, it's the baby. Man, should have been a dog. Look, uh, empty seat. This is Juncio's seat. He went to the bathroom with Dad. Let's talk to Min. Yo, Min. Stop. Popcorn. Yeah, let's go get popcorn. Let's go, let's go, okay. Dear and Min got up. I saw the popcorn guy pass these people. Min's gawking excitedly at the baseball fans minning about. Look, there's so many white people here. <laughs> There's even a black people. It's just like on TV. Well, it really is. The neighbourhood we live in is so Asian that I used to think white people were really rare. Too bad all these people are in our way right now though. We can't get through. I'm going to ask them to move. Excuse me. No one seems to hear her. That was the worst. I'm never speaking again. Time to become a mime.
Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Okay. Ming grabs someone's baseball bat off the ground and starts hitting people with it. Boosh. <laughs> hey, dummies. Move or I'll kill ya. Startled, people are now moving aside. Imagine that. <laughs> Let's look at strangers. The strangers glance over on Dia's direction as she walks by. One whispers something to the other. They both burst out laughing. Okay, they laughing at me. I hope not. Alright, let's go. Keep walking toward the popcorn guy. Ming continues to forge a path, leaving a trail of destruction behind her. Smash! Move or I'll kill your entire family. Even your dang fish won't survive. I'll throw all of your fish into the middle of the street so cars will run them over. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but Min really isn't a bad person. She's a bit extreme though. She always lets me be Luigi in Mario Kart. Oh, thanks. And whenever I land on her space in Monopoly, she says I don't need to pay her. Die. <laughs> We're almost there now. Alright, dog though. Look at dog. Cute. It's a dog. It's a cute dog. It doesn't look very strong. I bet I could kill it in one hit. <laughs> Please don't do that. I'm going to pet it. Ask the owner. Let's do it. All I have to do is ask. Excuse me, can I pet your dog? I bet practice a few times so I don't mess up when I really say it. Excuse me. Can we pet your dog? Excuse, excuse me. Okay, I got this. Let us pet your dog or else. That works too. Go ahead, she won't bite. I'll fight you. Wait, wait, you already agreed. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, pet the dog. Let's do it. Dear pets the dog. The dog closes its eyes and smiles. It's so cute. Dear's almost in tears. She's like a living rug. If you had a dog, what would you call it? Uh, good question. Pom. Oh, she bear. <laughs> what the heck kind of name is that? Cool name. It's short for Shiba Inu. Sounds dumb. Then what would you name your dog? Me? Well, Min's thinking with an intense look on her face. Skull Crusher. <laughs> Dear is silently laughing at her. Of course you'd choose a name like that. What? It's better than Shiba. What's wrong with Shiba? Can we... No, let's keep going. Popcorn guy. Popcorn. Setting up. He looks busy. I'll give up. Time to walk away. Hey, Grandpa, give us popcorn or else. <laughs> Min's so brave. Then you better pay up. Ten dollars a bucket. Wow. What a rip. Min hit the man in the groin with a bat. Don't do that. The man sinks to the ground as if he's been shot. <laughs> he's collapsed like this. Min grabs a popcorn bucket out of his tray. That's theft. I got it, let's go. Uh, He's still curled up in pain. We better go before he recovers and comes after us. Alright, let's run. Oh, it's my dad. Yuck. Min's dad is really mad at her for cutting her hair like that. He's speaking Korean on the phone. I wonder what he's talking about. Min only taught me one through four so far. Okay, dear must have been frowning without knowing it because Min speaks up. Um, do you want to learn more? Sure. How do you say hi in Korean? Hi. Easy. It's, uh, uh... Does she not know how to say it? Wow. I've never learnt Korean, so I'm going to have to make a pass on this one. Sarang, eh? Okay. Is it Sarang, eh? <laughs> Min is staring at Dia with a really complicated expression on her face. What? Am I saying it right? Yeah, sure. That was fine. Cool, now I can greet you and Jun see her like this. No, wait, you can't say that to Jun. What? Why not? What? What she taught us? Because uh, it's a special kind of hello. What is she? What is the phrase? You can only say it to uh, certain people like me. Okay, is it one of those things where you use the wrong one? It's really bad. Yeah, something like that. It's tough to explain, but it's correct when I say it to you. Yeah. So only say it to me. Got it? Got it. Wow, Korean's really complicated. What about you? How do you say hi? Uh, teacher, I like to fart. Uh, teacher, hi. Hi. I'm not even sure what language that is. Wow, I'm ignorant. Hi. Hi. Sure, let's keep going. There you guys are. Where'd you guys go? The There was a dog. Dear, that's really cryptic. Is it? Here, take some popcorn. Min gives Dia the popcorn bucket. Min, where'd you get the bat? Please don't tell me you did something bad. Yeah, it was totally fun. 
No, you have to stop stealing and threatening people. It's dangerous. What if someone came after you? I'd beat them. Even if there was a bear, I'd kill it with my bare hands. Mint, that is impossible. I'll punch it real hard in the head like wham. Dead. It's not that easy. You'll just get mauled. Yeah, right. I'll dodge. I bet I can kill two different bears at once. Min, no. It's useless. I don't think Min's brain even knows what fear is. Well, Jun, you really sound like Noel sometimes. Uh, Noel's my best friend. She's the kid in class who goes, but wait, you forgot to collect her homework. I introduced Min to her a while back, but it was like hate at first sight. I think Min wants to kill her. Someday, when Dia decides she doesn't like Noel anymore, I'll kill her. Oh, okay. I'll kill her to death. <laughs> Please don't do that. Even though Noel is taller than you, someday I'll be the tallest. I won't lose to her. What does that have to do with anything? Also, if I was peeling an orange for you, I'll make sure to get all the white stringy stuff off too. I bet Noel wouldn't do that for you. What the heck kind of scenario is this? Why would you guys even be peeling oranges for me? Just because. Ah, oh, forget it. She totally fancies us. Okay. Uh, Eat popcorn. Dear, eat some popcorn. Ten out of town. Would eat again. Talk to Jun. Junsio. Do you want some popcorn? Thanks. Junsio took a single piece. Wow. You can take more than that. Really? You're so nice. Junsio took another single piece. Seriously? Never mind. Talk to them in. Yo, yo, what's up? Do you want some popcorn? Dear holds out the popcorn bucket. Thank you. Min happily grabs a fistful of popcorn and stuffs it into her mouth. Talk about school? I hope we're in the same class next year. Uh, yeah. Actually, about that. Never mind. Everything is fine. This is really suspicious. She's acting weird again, like earlier. Okay, what's up? Do you not want to be in the same class as me, then? No, that's not it. It's just that I won't be, uh... Mm, forget it. Is this related to what she couldn't tell me before? I bet Junsio will know what this is about. Uh, never mind. Let's ask him then. Junsio, is there something wrong with Min? What's going on? Like, did she do a felony at the police after her? Uh, not that I know of. Why? She's been acting kind of weird all day, like she's hiding something. Really? I haven't noticed anything odd. Well, I guess if even Junsio isn't concerned, everything's fine. Okay, I can just enjoy the game without worrying now. Is he wearing an Arthur shirt? Oh my god, never mind. Your Min. Talk about baseball. You know, I've been wondering for a while. If your parents won't let you play baseball, why don't you just play softball instead? Give me a hand, I'll show you. What? Dear offers Min her hand. Min presses their palms together so their hands line up. Her fingertips end a whole inch below Dear's. Her hands are tiny. I guess that makes sense since her name's Min. The rest of her is Minnie too. My hand is too small to grip a softball correctly. I can't even pitch them. They always slip out halfway through the wind-up. Okay, are softballs that much bigger than baseballs then? Yep. But that makes no sense. Shouldn't guys play softball and girls play baseball then? Since guys usually have bigger hands. It's backwards. Why is it designed like that? Beats me. Uh, what's wrong? Are you sure it's all good? Yeah, stop worrying. I don't think I'm getting anywhere questioning her like this. Never mind. Let's watch the game. The visiting team's pitching now. Wow, some kid behind us is talking to his dad. Uh, dad, who's that? It's Tim Wakefield. He's a knuckleball pitcher. It's always fun watching these guys. Knuckleballers are pretty rare. The movement on the pitch is nuts, like a butterfly with hiccups. Wow, some people actually talk to their parents on purpose, like for fun. I can't even imagine it. Every time I talk to my parents, it somehow turns into a lecture about something I did wrong. So I only talk to them when I absolutely have to. How come they switch catchers? Because catching a knuckleball is really unpleasant and difficult. If you can do it reasonably well, no one who does it really well, that one skill can keep you on the team. A lot of knuckleball pitchers end up having one catcher who specialises in catching that pitch just for them. They're called personal catchers. For instance, JC Martin always taught Hoyt Wilhelm's knuckleball. There's a lot of baseball details here. I don't even know if these are real people. I'm assuming possibly. And Doug Mirabelli always catches Tim Wakefield in his knuckleball through the Red Sox. The two of them even get traded together as a set. It's like a weird baseball marriage. Dear, I've got a great idea. I should learn to throw a knuckleball and you can catch it for me. Didn't he just say it's really hard to catch? So, 
You're like a baseball goddess. You're overestimating me. I'm not that good. I just got lucky that one time. You've gotten lucky so many times, I don't even know which one you're talking about. No, you don't understand? All of those were flukes. All of them? What? They just happened to our chance. I don't have a special technique or anything. Your special technique is being you. You're the best. You're putting too much faith in me. I'm not that good. When you see what I'm really like, you'll be like, that's it. I'll never think that. Even if I could catch it, are you really willing to be a pitcher? Why not? The pitcher's the coolest. You're brave. I hate pitching. Why? You get to stand on the mound and kick ass in front of everyone. That's exactly why. I don't want people watching every move I make. Especially if I'm the only girl. If I mess up, it'll look like all girls suck at baseball. Don't mess up then. Okay, easier said than done. It's a situation where you can't help but be scared. Anyway, I'll be there with you. If there's two of us, we both have to mess up for them to think that. So don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. That's kind of comforting. I've always been alone out there. It will be you and me against the world. Okay, let's do it. Uh, look at woman. I was tricked. No, she's holding the baby. Let's talk again. Nothing to talk about. What about Jun? Never mind. Let's keep watching baseball then. The batter hit the ball. It pops up foul. It's coming toward us. Dia catches the ball in the popcorn bucket. Wow. I got so lucky. Yeah. Wow, Dia, that was really good. So cool. You're so cool. Dia fishes the ball out of the half-emptied tub. I better give this to Jun or Min. My parents think I went to study at Noelle's house. It'd be too suspicious to bring a baseball back. Min sits back down. Apparently she's gotten up at some point to jump around and scream. She still looks really odd. Thanks. For what? Existing. Nice. Eat popcorn. There's barely any left. Most of it exploded out when the ball landed in the tub. Talk to Min. Give her the baseball. Dear, hold the baseball out to Min. Can I really have this? I'll treasure it forever. If anyone else touches it, I'll kill him. That's way too extreme. It's a big deal though. Now we'll always have something to remember you by. What? What do you mean, remember me by? That makes it sound like I'm going to die or something. Junsio looks alarmed by Dia's response. Uh, did Min not tell you? What? Tell me what? We're uh, Shut the hell your mouth. <laughs> what? What the hell? It's nothing. Fuck the shut up. <laughs> Min gets up and runs. Uh, Min. I gotta go after her. Dia chases Min up the steps and down the concourse they arrive through. Your Min, wait up. Dia grabs the back of Min's hoodie. Min loses her balance and face plants onto the carpet. Are you okay? We're moving away. What? Where? Florida. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? So sudden. It wasn't sudden. I've known for a long time. I've tried everything to stop it. I even threatened Dad with a knife. <laughs> I can't believe it failed. Violence is always the answer. Florida. That's all the way across the country. There's nothing there except old people. No, alligators live there too. I saw it on Animal Planet. So this is it. This is it. Sorry. That's not fair. We can't even send letters because my parents hate you so much. <laughs> I won't see you for the rest of my life. Hey, just because I'm moving doesn't mean we'll never meet again. If I want to see you and you want to see me, eventually it will end up happening again, right? How do you know? I just know. That's not a reason. Then, because. Suddenly, Min seizes Dia's arms. She looks like she had an epiphany. If you say our names together, it sounds like Diamond. What? Like Dear Min. Dear Min, Diamond, you see? It's even more like it if you say your name wrong, like Daya instead of Dia. I'm not saying my name wrong just to make it sound like Diamond. But it's more equal like that. My name got cut in half to make it work, so I had to sacrifice something too. I already call you Min. No one says Daya. The substitute teacher does. <laughs> The substitute teacher sucks. How did you even think of this? I was checking if our names sounded like anything good together, like baseball. How could it possibly sound like baseball? Our parents would have had to name us Base and Ball. I know, but still, it's pretty cool that we match it all, right? And it's even baseball related. The universe is saying that we're meant to be together. Wow, I guess she's right. We'll meet again, no matter what. I'll bet you a hundred dollars. Wait, how are you going to give me a hundred dollars if you lose? Uh, I just will. No, but if you're able to meet me, that means you won the bet. What? Technically, I guess. 
There's nothing technical about it. You just straight up wouldn't pay me. <laughs> There's a long silence. She still doesn't get it. Never mind. It's fine. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. The point is, this isn't the end. I won't give up if you don't give up. Okay? Okay. I won't give up if you don't give up. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. Okay. 